Looks like everything's working just exactly right. Okay. What's up, Stylo? How you doing? Let's see here. All right. Welcome, everyone. Got a little Sunday action here. Gonna be grinding out some POs. You know the drill. Jay skis in the house. Mike, what's going on? Welcome everyone. Starting just a little bit early today, but I was ready to go. Figure might as well get it rocking. Tinsera, what up, Henry? Welcome. Good to see everyone. How's the action out there today? Tony, what's going on? Lost on site. What up? Let's see. What do we got here? Got just under 500k to go to the... Get the Apollo back in the fleet. Demo's in the house. Todd. Liberty. <laughs> Actually awake to catch a live stream. Nice. Welcome. Rain in the near end of town. Sub Zide. Yeah, we got a pretty nice day here today. It looks like it's just about 70 degrees out. Doing good, doing good. Beast, Tex, what up? Viper. Welcome, everyone. We got one week left of this campaign I think I've seen a lot of ZF sixes out there I think a lot of people either did all the heroic efforts in which case you could be done with it or maybe they ponied up a little bit of doubloons yeah I think I got next uh, a week from Monday off so hopefully we'll be able to stream on the update we'll have an update video this week at some point Usually they come out on Thursdays, I want to say. What's up, Bang Boats? Finally made it to a live stream. Welcome. Beautiful day in Ohio. Nice. Keep it in Virginia. Yeah, this, this summer has been, <laughs> been real hot here. Finally, a couple cool days in a row. It's kind of nice. 120 a.m. Holy good. Must be in the... Pacific. Well, I think we'll probably just do a uh, rip off some premiums. Maybe we'll start off with a tier five to get warmed up. 72 in the rain. 72 feels pretty good. Yeah, that's about what it's been here. And man, it was like 90s, high 80s for, I don't know, a month and a half. Usually I'd take pretty good care of my lawn, but this year it's kind of dried out. Zone torpedo device. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's once you get into torping areas as opposed to torping targets, it kind of evolves the destroyer play a little bit. Yeah. 63 second torps. Yeah, I think I tried out blue a couple times. The main thing I'm going to be re-examining when I get that ship back is uh I'm gonna try and run it just with the AP for a couple games see I think I might have missed something along those lines let's see we're always busting out the war spite we got this Queen, Queen Elizabeth here let's try this guy tier fives are go to to warm up not a bad tier We'll see how the action is out of here. 
I want to give a shout out to the new and rejoining members since last stream. We had new members Elliot, Stu, Stu's Meister, Vincent, Ezixable, and then rejoining members. We got Christopher, FT, uh, David, and Dennis. Appreciate all of you guys. If you want to become a member in the channel, you can just click on the join button or there's the link in the description below. Appreciate all the support, guys. Appreciate everyone tuning in today. Hopefully we'll have a fun session out here. Ah, uh, the thumbnail. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that was made by Papa Nicholas. He's all over the World of Warships Legends scene. He does those great radar infographics, a lot of good graphics. Runs the podcast. So he put that on my Discord the other day. I asked him if we could use it. <laughs> Doing good. I see you fighting. Oh, you got the Sheena Nomi. It's a worse Fabuki. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. Someone was. We had our member stream yesterday. Someone was saying they had it. Eh, it is what it is. Tier three is your warm up. <laughs> yeah, usually I don't know. Tier three you can usually squeeze off a win, but it still kind of depends what your team's up to. All right, what do we got going on here? We got tier fives. We got a couple of tier fours for good measure. Probably getting spotted in this lane. Could be over here. Yep. Looks like it could be these guys. Uh, the Caruza. Monte Cachole is like one ship that the devs said they really need to buff. Let's send them back to port just for good measure. What's up, Joey? How you doing? Missed the member stream? Yeah. We had good... We were trying out a new uh, method. Boots and some of the guys in the Discord were trying it out the other day. Going off of like a Universal Clock website. And we were kind of having everyone go at designated times. And it ended up working out pretty well. I kind of played like crap yesterday. I'm hoping we get a little bit better stream. A little bit better performance. But in terms of the game action, it was pretty damn good. Ooh, dodge an oofka. What's up, Meta? How you doing? Randy? 60 people, 20 likes. Yeah, if you guys don't mind slapping the like button, it actually does help the stream. Appreciate everyone tuning in, though. Monte Cachole. Yeesh. Oh, yeah, penetration. What's up, David? How you doing? Hmm. Looks like he's got a busted engine. Yeah. PS5 arrives tomorrow. Nice. How'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Alright, let's see if we can get the old doble. Oh, should have shot those back guns over there. Ah, they got them anyways. <sighs> Enemies are good. Well, that, yeah, I'm not saying. That's part of it. The competition was a little bit better than average, but I just kept getting wrecked early in the matches. Made some aggressive plays that didn't always turn out. Okay, let's see. we got to get on A here. PlayStation Direct, interesting. I don't know why they just don't put them in the stores, you know, put a pile of them on the ground so you can one per customer. It's this online thing. You go on StockX, there's thousands of them that these guys are buying. Ah, uh, you're not 
doing what I think you're doing, are you? You're not doing that. Fire. Surely you wouldn't be so foolish. Got away with that one. Mm. Oh. Look at that. Look at that team shooting this thing. Yes. These are the teams that dreams are made of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this DeGrasse? We need to punish his insolence. Oh boy. You bloomin' bastard. Come on now. Can't have this Monica Jolie running rough shot. Torpedoes direct front. Hmm. Well, he flushed him out of there. If people spread out a little bit, they'd be able to whack him. All right. Flash the broadside. Let's see what you got. Go, give him a little tickle. You bastards. Main critically damaged. Gun's gonna get disabled here in one of these moments. So the whole team moving north with this island on the right here, that's gonna be a problem because these guys are kind of moving south. That's alright though. Get the base and then we'll swing over there. Tennessee is not long for this world. Yeah, we're down on cap. That's going to be an issue. Alright, so we do have the one battleship that turned around, so we'll be coming around the south end. Let's see how he stacks up. Oh. PE versus Koenig that's low, so we should be able to take that one. Yeah, this guy goes south. It takes us longer to get a shot because we're going north. What's up, Casey? Fernando? Can't rely on the smoke with Edinburgh. Ah, that's the way I usually run it. You can, you can run either option. and get B and then we'll just hold on to it. Should be over. Missed the member stream, didn't get a notification. I don't know how the notifications work in those. Technically the the streams that just appear for members isn't like in a beta status. I don't know how it works, but that's too bad. We'll be getting another one though. My goal is in September to do it a little bit earlier in the month. Man, this guy's been on the run for a while. Dodd, what's going on? Yeah, the radar on the Edinburgh works well. It's just the problem is usually when I load in on it and I got the radar, I forget about it until it's too late. Like I'll take a really aggressive position and uh, go to pop the radar or the smoke and be like, oh, I think we forgot the uh, smoke at home. 
captain. And then you're like, oops, well, <laughs> let's try it. On to the next game. Yeah, we got a Normandy. I think he had about two-thirds health here. I don't know about half. Let's go ahead and relieve him of that health. Demonstrate the full power of this battle station. Where are you going? Looks like you're going... Right about me off. See how that does. All right. Not a bad little warm up. One twenty seven outside Sydney, Australia. Yeah, we got a couple Australians hanging with us, Aussies, as they say, staying up late. All right, not too bad. When you got a destroyer that's spotted and you got like two or three guys shoot at them, you can just be like, okay, we're probably going to win this game, you know? Those are the teammates you want. Let's bounce down to tier four. I'll give you guys a... I'll give you a little preview of what we got here. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll... Uh, you guys type in the chat which tier 4 you want to see and then maybe we'll do a poll or something vote on the top 2 or 3 give you a moment there space stuff coming tomorrow what you talking about space stuff covid Locked down during the demand through the roof, yeah. Let's see, we got Texas, a hot neck. 117 watching. We got 42 likes, guys. If you don't mind slapping the like button, maybe we'll get some of these new players out there. The stream will pop up on their suggestions. And then we can teach them all about angling and not killing themselves. <laughs> Cesare? Wonder if I want to sneak in the game. Well, I'm sure we'll see at some point. Got a couple Chisares. A couple of Hotniks. We'll do the pull for uh for Chisari and Let's go with these. You guys vote in the poll. We'll see what you guys want to do. Hello from England. Hello. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Oklahoma? Yeah, that's another good one. Let's see where we're at with the poll. Looks like a dead heat. Yeah, we're still closing in on that 20k. If you guys are new to the channel you want to subscribe, once we get to the 20k, we'll be doing a big uh, celebration. Giveaway is galore, as they say. Should be a good time. David, what's going on? Hood, no, yeah, we can maybe, we'll see how it's looking when we get up to tier 6 here. Looks like the Adhotnik's got a slight lead. Nikolai won. I think we played that last week. It's always a good time. The polls in the chat. Yeah, we tried them out the other day. It seemed to be working. Now right, I'll give you another... Looks like we got 36 votes. We'll give another 30 seconds or so. See if Chisari can even the, the polling... I discovered the polls, yes. <laughs> Reaper, what's going on, man? Well, we can't end the poll if it's tied. Let's get another vote here. Who's going to be the deciding factor? The Kleber is a cracking machine. Yeah, I asked Meta about that one. <laughs> CC Camel, yeah, I'm definitely going to ask them about that. 
that'll be a I need to have the neighborhood kid come over and show you. Yeah, just basically on the bottom, there's this uh, right under say something. On mine, there's a little pull icon. You just click on it. All right, looks like I'd hot Nick pull ahead here. We'll end the poll and we'll go with Moita Sausage. Yeah, this one you got to play a little carefully, but. When there's mistakes being made, you can punish. All right, we got a big race epicenter. Interesting. We got a Gulio, we got a Nevada, we got a Congo, a Gus. I don't see a Gus every day. Not too bad. We got a couple Geo one ones. Should be interesting. What's up, Jeff? Yeah, I was just saying it's uh it's PS5's in route. Let's see here. So this ship, you got all your turrets 360. See those puppies spinning through the front of the ship. Let's just keep them over here for now. Short range torps. What do we got here? Four, five. Never get the map yet. I think this is the, like the second time I've gotten it. This mode came out this update, I believe, and. I don't hang out at the low tiers too often unless we're going through our POs. Come on, big blow shit. Come on. This could be the end of this one. I'm going to try and pull up here, block the torps if we can. Should, should just stay on there for a oh. oh, he's trapped. It's tempting. <laughs> Go for the torps. Jeez. Hmm. Can't believe we haven't got torps in our direction. <laughs> Should be dead right now. Oh, I see that flash right there. I gotta get out of here. Any minute now, we're gonna get smoked. Oh boy. Which way do I run? We got the Gulio. I think we're just gonna rush the Gulio, see what happens. be the end here. Come on, big money. Come on, big money. Oh, shit. Flew too close to the sun. That's a pretty good dodge. He's going hard this way. I think he, I don't know if he hit the dead body and stopped himself that way. I think that might have been what happened. Either way, good play. 
Let's see if they can get them. I don't know. That's We're down a ship. I mean, might not look that good, but I think we're doing okay in this match here. If he kills Barask... Come on. There you go. If he kills Gulio. Looks like a kill shot to me. I think they should be able to figure this one out. We'll check back in and see what happens. <laughs> hey, Dazzler. Edinburgh has the capacity to put the radar on there. Not standard package. Just like the Budione. A lot of people don't know the Budione's got radar, but... Basically, you just come to the... Uh, Loadout screen here, and then it should be in the smoke. You got your radar plane. So you can always check those. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that last one should be a win, but we'll see how it plays out. Let's bounce into tier six. Let's see what you guys want to do with tier six. Five new members equal countdowns. Yeah. Well, don't count on it happening too often, but. When it does, it's pretty fun. There's dead bodies. Yeah, that's what we call the sunk boats. It's actually a pretty strong play, though. Especially if you got torps coming at you, you can kind of use it as a shield. Yeah, I'll just give you a little preview of what we got here, and then we'll see what you guys are inclined to play. We had one vote for the hood earlier. Wouldn't mind playing the old hood. We got a lot of tier 6 premiums to choose from. A biscuit, Orkin, a Brutzi. We don't see that one. How do you get points in Epicenter? Well, I think it's. I'm assuming there's background points from the beginning. I don't know. But basically, there's like three rings on that circle. And if you control, if you put the ship, you know, the further on inside the uh, cap you go, the more of those rings you'll be capping. It's basically like domination mode, but all the caps are stacked on top of each other. So the question is how aggressive you want to be, because if you go right in the middle of the circle, yes, you'll be, you know, capturing the bases, but if you're in the middle of the map, everyone's probably going to shoot you. Let's see, what do we... Not happened too often, yeah. It's happened a couple times so far, but five new members in the history of streaming, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, each ring counts as a cap, basically. Hold off on the Abruzzi until the SAP situation clarifies. Yeah, I think they were, when they are saying they are investigating putting it in, I believe they were saying it was going to be on the premiums first, so. Let's see here. Nothing's really... Alright, why don't we try... do another poll we'll do three options this time we'll see what you guys want we'll do hood uh, Sharnhorst Munchen if you guys take a stab at that those will be the first picks if we lose the game we'll come back Always get another shot at these. Let's see where the pull ends. Looks like Munchen comes out early. Oh, Hood comes out. Man, you can flip the votes pretty quick in this thing. Boise's always good, yeah. There's a lot of good tier six, a lot of fun ships. Good variety. Looks like a dead heat between Hood, Sharnhorse, Munch, and Trailing. Uh, 
Yeah, no need to rush up to the higher tiers. That's good advice. My advice is usually to just grind out all the lines kind of equally. All the tier 3s, all the tier 4s, and then by that time you're getting a good amount of game experience. You get a good idea of what you kind of intuitively have a good feel for. And then at that point you kind of say, okay, let's try and grind this line. Can't do the pull. All right, looks like Hood's coming out on top here. Let's give that one a whirl. Hood it is. Who did we play in one season of ranked with Chili, I think? Let's take a look at the armor scheme. It's been a little while, so we got 25 in the front. So yeah, this is definitely a side baiter. Let's see if we can get the stream up to 100 likes. We're at 81. I think once you get up to about 100, then YouTube starts to... Their ears perk up a little bit. Bad tier 7 legendary players. Yeah, it's just... The problem with the higher the tiers you go, the easier the ships can, like, rapidly punish you. And so any mistake you're making is just going to be amplified even more than normal. All right, so we got Monarch, Bismarck, Nagato, even the Ismail, pretty dangerous. We got a lot of dangerous shit over here. No destroyers. We'll see how we do here. What do we got? Key. Ideally, we'd like the tier sevens to be in front of us, but <laughs> we'll see if he moves forward or backwards. No rush, still learning. Yeah, that's a good approach. It's just, it's very tempting to be like, okay, now I got my tier 7. This ship is so good. Now I'm going to be good. Well, it doesn't work that way because all the ships that you're playing against are going to be roughly the same, you know, strength as yours. They may have different strengths and weaknesses, but it's not like you're the only tier 7 out there playing against tier 4s, you know. So that's always been my advice. Got a fail division, yeah. I don't know, there's a lot. Oh! That's the line you came up with, huh? Oops. Alright, we gotta get away from the key. He is moving forward, so. Let's see if we can get a little distance. Tex Wiz, what's going on? No DDs, pedal to the metal, yeah. But definitely want to be aggressive. But I don't want to be like front in line with this thing. A lot of these ships can melt us. Elgery. He's actually going backwards. I want to fire one shot to see if he reacts. Looks like he's gonna. Then we'll put him right in front of him to account for the sudden gunning of the engine. And then we whiff! Because we don't know how to aim. If only we knew how to aim, life would be so much easier. Up, Ab. That's a good ship to get out of there. See, this key is kind of. Fortunately, just getting focused. We got a lot, of... a lot of ships behind them. So. Then the problem will be once they're done with him, they're all going to shoot at us.
You chose... Holy... Come on, give me a decent shot here. Let's go. This could be trouble. Oh, fuck. Whew. Alright. That could cost us. We got A, we got B. We don't have to do anything too wild here. Monarch's the target I would usually want to leave till the end. Because he's going to heal a lot of the damage. here I'll try and help these guys out Concentrate fire on the designated target. got a lot of firepower in the middle which is good but the targets they got to shoot at aren't the best monarch if they can ding him up quickly then it's a good if he's broadside like that Try and support over here. So we got a low Fiji, we got a Nelson kind of on the moon. Oh, he's not too far back, I guess. What's he doing? He's pulling out a little bit. Give him a tap, see what happens. You can see we're pointed directly away from these guys now, so even if they want to shoot us, shouldn't be too bad. I'm a coming. Looks like we got the Nagato's attention. Ismail and a Nagato are not really that afraid of either. Nagato can punch. Ismail can punch as well, but these guys can't withstand what we're going to be bringing. What's up, Eric? So now we got the crossfire. You see the two square separation here on the map? They want to angle towards him. They got to deal with me. Now it'd be nice if I could aim. I don't. Seem to be missing a lot of these shots here. Nagata, though, ain't gonna be so lucky. Gonna cost you your life. Fuck. Main turret critically damaged. Let's keep pushing here. We're getting a little bit closer to the Nelson. The closer we get, the easier it is for these two red ships, but currently they're still in trouble. Wonder how that Monarch's doing over there. Ismail's more attractive, but Nagato. Gotta get rid of him. Come on, you bastard. Go down. We should have this game in the bag here. Alright, go down.
Give me a hit on the guy here. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah. What's up, tube? There we go. Not two shabs. Looks like we hit the hundred like but hundred likes milestone. Appreciate that. Almost two hundred people watching though. All right, so that was a team that was doing well. Yeah, this guy I don't I didn't disagree with his idea, but he just that's kind of the thing when you're in the battleship. If you get that far, that much further far forward than your team, then they'll just focus you and burn you down. All right, let's see if we won that match from earlier. Looks like we got it. Ooh, this guy had a double. That's pretty good. Let's see, it looks like just the one G101 left. Must have been a hard fought game there, but we did pull it off. So we got tier 5, 4, and 6 done. Why don't we do a tier 3? Carlos, what's going on? Selling ships, yeah. I mean, I would, if you want to sell like your tier 2s, your tier 1s, just to clean up the port a little bit other than that though i wouldn't recommend selling any ships that's usually one of the main mistakes that new players make is they sell their way up to tier 7 not realizing that the entrance fee to play tier 7 games steep so now you're a new player in tier 7 you're getting your shit kicked in you're not earning the credits to cover the cost now you can't even pull the boat out of the port because it's still uh being repaired or whatever you want to conceptually conceive it as and now you're like, oh shit, well, what do I do? 66k steel, yeah. We're almost there. We're about, uh, what are we at here? I'd say about five years away. Should be there any minute now. All right, let's do the poll here. We got, we'll do three options. Arkansas. Hmm. doing a walkie here we saw salty in the walkie yesterday it was tearing it up there or we could do the nassau the golden fist let's get the poll going here give you guys a moment Yeah, don't sell to California. I wouldn't sell any ships. It's just, there's nothing but regret. I mean, once you got a lot of them, once you get good at the game, you can reliably make money tiers five, tiers sixes, or whatever. And at that point, if you're like, I don't ever play tier three, go ahead and sell them. But selling your way up the chain. Nothing but misery. Looks like peeps are in the mood for the golden fists. I think we missed a new member earlier. Let's see. Jesse. Join the channel camp. I think you're a new member. Appreciate that. Well, let's go ahead and update it to uh, one over here. Thank you very much, Jesse. Appreciate it. All right. First found your channel, 52% win rate. You said it's good enough. Now, after seven months, I got 61. So thank you for being good, for the good teaching advice. Absolutely, no problem. Yeah, 52 is above average. You got to keep in mind, 48% is the mean... Yeah, you know, or the ice 
The mean, medium, the mode. Probably the mean. Um, so, it, you know, it's not bad. It's a good starting place. If you're below 48%, plenty of room to improve. But if you're below 48%, I know what the problem is. You're not playing the objectives. Because um, the people that don't play the objectives lose a shit ton of games. That's a good starting spot. I mean, if you're completely new, you're probably flashing your sides constantly. Uh, maybe need some help aiming or whatever. So those are all correctable mistakes. But then once you get to the strategy part, it's am I actually trying to win the game or not? And once you just determine I'm going to actually try and win the game and learn how to do that, then your win rate should shoot through the roof. All right, looks like the NASA takes the lead here. You guys want to see some fisting action. Can't guarantee it. we got to find a willing participant. But if we can get these fists <laughs> in position, we'll see where we can put them. Thank you very much, Legendary. Appreciate that. Steering gear is a prop. That's an age-old question. Depends on the ship. Most of my destroyers, except for the Brits, I believe I put the props on most of them. Uh, cruisers depends on the action. If you're going to be kind of running and gunning, or if you're going to be using islands more. If you're using the islands like an American cruiser would, for instance, going to want the prop on there. If you're going to be wiggling the ship back and forth, you're going to want that steering gears. Battleships. I don't know. A lot of times I'll put the the uh, damage con mod on there now. Just depend. You got to look at the ship stats and play it a few times, see what... Is it really slow? Is it turn like a son of a gun? Alright, so we got a Isakaze and a Wickus. Should have the full secondary build on here, so we'll see what we can do with it. Got three back to back Krakens. Oh, damn. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> Stellan, what's going on? Took the Clubair three times out in a row. Yeah, that ship, I don't know. Let's enjoy it while it lasts, because they got to tune it down at some point, right? What is our secondary range out of curiosity? 7-8. Low average at 47. Yeah. Just... Room to improve, that's all you gotta look at it as. Yeah, Wickus. Commence firing. Oh, fuck. There he is. I don't want that secondary consumable to be wasted. I'd love to ram a Wickus. Cold bear go. Yeah, win rate's just one stat. I mean, you don't want to focus on it too much. Where is this bloomin'? Better get away from him. There's the torps. Jesus! The fuck was that? I don't think Colbergo's got torps, but he might surprise us here. Find out in a moment if he's got torps. Oh, 
don't know what happened to that uh, Wiccas earlier. Looked like he was heading right for us. There he is. See what you got, homeboy. Hmm. So he's dead in the water. Citadel. I don't know if it was a citadel. Sometimes if you get like a just a bunch of full pens, it'll sound like a citadel on your end, but Alright. So where's the other destroyer? We haven't even seen him. I think it's an Isakaze, which is one of them ships. Gonna shoot there. He's kind of out of our range, but we could get vertical dispersion that'll wind up hitting him. Don't mind this crack in it. Oh. Come on, Celiax. Let's see, so if he killed the destroyer and then rammed Ishizuki, it'd be a fair Kraken. These guys are way over there. Isakaze's. Oh, he's shooting. What the? Now oh, we got a flyboy in the vicinity here. Could have kinking the old plans. I don't think we got much in terms of air defense. This guy. No idea what his torp range is, but I'm sure it's pretty decent. I wanted to ram this guy after we kill the destroyer. I don't know why the destroyer is trying to go around the edge of the map. A little aggravating. Tell if he's gonna beach or not. Come on. I think we can get this crack in here as long as the plane doesn't steal it. Oh, they're on their base, so we gotta do it a little bit. Quickly. Fuck. Is 
So I do want to kill the destroyer first. Like three sets of two to me. This thing reloads really quick. I don't know how fast it is, but it's like 30, 40 seconds. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him. Come on, you stupid secondaries. Oh, I thought that fucker stole it. Oh, they're gonna cap the base before it can get the Kraken, damn it. Yes, they're getting off. Unfortunately, he's angling. They're all getting off the base. Fuck. Oh, and he's out of our range. Right as I use the thing. Son of a bitch. Alright, they're all off the base. That's the good news. Normally we'd be yelling at them, but... I would like the Kraken. Jesus. It's gonna be close. We could be really cheap and just try and steal the kill. That's not how we roll, though. If someone else gets the kill, no big deal. Oh, boy. Come on, big money! Ah, oh, you bastard. Alright, good job. <laughs> Yeah, I had this AP loaded. I think we missed that one by about two seconds at the most. Look at this. It's kind of a cool patch. Get good. <laughs> hmm. If only that destroyer was a little more aggressive earlier, we could have killed him and rammed the guy. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. We got tier 3 out of the way. What should we do now? Tier 7? Let's come up with some good options. Let's kind of scroll through there. You guys let me know. What catches your eye? D. Ravel would help, yeah. Can't have a full secondary build, though, unless you're all in on it. I think I got a pretty good Bismarck game the other day. We'll probably do a Bismarck video maybe for tomorrow using that build. Carlos coming in out. Great game. The Nassau is a lot of fun. Absolutely, yeah. That one, was a. did it come out as a Halloween ship? So I think right when it came out, it had the goofy camo that we got on there that sent... Uh, Tactic gave him the case of the vapors. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that must have been an Halloween ship. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate that. Gas going. Come on now. Let's come up with some real ideas. Otago, Otago, Siegfried. What's up, book? Free to blow your top. 
We're actually playing well today. I don't think we've lost yet. I don't want to start spoiling it with playing shitty ships. My uh, win rate took a beating yesterday during the member stream. We've got to patch it up a little bit today. Hopefully. ZF6. Don't have that one. We'll probably get it on Monday or Tuesday. Monarch. Something we don't see. All right, let's do a poll with the Monarch. What? Of course, we got a few uh, Tier 7 games to get through, so. Monarch. Siegfried. That doesn't look right. Siegfried. Who knows? There it is. Two R's? No. There are Monarch, Siegfried, and let's put a good one on there. How about the Mass? Maybe we'll try the Mass secondary build if you win that one. All right, that'll be the round one for Tier 7. We'll come back to different options, of course. Halloween 2019. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Oh, you started playing right after. Oh, it was still on sale. Interesting. Hey, Eliza. You got the Wooster? I don't know much about it except for it's called the Wooster. Wooster. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's light cruiser, radar. It's killer AA. A lot of people actually like the Cleveland better because the offensive output's just tuned up a little bit higher. But uh, I like the Wooster. I'm going to probably bust that out. All right, so it looks like the Siegfried's in the lead here. All right, Siegfried it is. Kind of a randomized ship. When I'm playing against this thing, I'm terrified of his guns, and then when I play it, I, like, hit three shells the entire game. It's like, what am I afraid of? <laughs> but if it, if it tags you, this thing is nasty. Who's sticking bow tank? Gun angles are a little funky, yeah, I'll give you that. I think it's because of the uh, AA that's incorporated into it. Hmm, how do I play this ship? I forget. Double destroyers, well, that's a disadvantage. They're both in the same cap. Thanks, guys. They better play with great fury and vengeance over there and wipe everything out quickly or I'm going to be disappointed in them. Random button. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Oh, Force of CV game. Did they already change it where the legendaries can pair up with the tier 7s, or is that coming next time? Alright, we better pay attention here. This is not easy mode. Hmm. Yeah, similar setup to the Atlanta, that should work for you. Oh, they can dip now. Well, that's interesting then. So yeah, you could actually pair it up with a carrier and then just make sure you're in a carrier game. I don't like this setup at all here. This is not good. Is 
got a shot over here? No. What is going on here? Yeah, I'll graph should be on this one. Yeah, I don't have any points on that one. It's an interesting commander. Wow. That was pretty fucking random considering there's nothing behind me. Nice. Well, we lost two destroyers. <laughs> Good for them. They're on to the next. No harm, no fall. Right, guys? So that's not a blistering shot. Every time I got hit by this thing, I lose, like, an arm and a leg. Apparently trying to plug him in the belt armor might not be the best strategy. Fuck. I feel like we should win this game, but we definitely need to convert some of these destroyers. Kill his ass, sea bass. There you go. Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh -oh. Leon shooting AP. We did not expect to see that. There's the nastiness. According to the game, I send commands too often. I disagree. Alright, fuck you. You want to do this? How did the guy just shoot and now I can't see him? that hard to believe personally fuck this game is way difficult more difficult than it should have been Torp range doesn't look like. Once we kill Bismarck, we can rush that uh, destroyer. He's probably about a one shot. Might not have the luxury to keep kiting away here, though. We just gotta push. We were talking about this yesterday in the stream where sometimes you gotta do shit you don't wanna do. Now, you might be looking at the score saying we're only down with small amounts, so I probably don't want to be too aggressive. Alright, 
Let's see here. Oh, nice shot. I don't know how this fucking thing is shooting. I'm not seeing him. Motherfucker, I need these guys to move forward here. That's a risky play. We'll trade the fucking Siegfried for this thing. Not the smartest. We're gonna be down a ship, but at least we got the destroyer off the board. Wow. That was a bonus right there. Fuck. I don't really get the Siegfried. You can occasionally land these really nasty shots, and then half the time it's just overpins. Holy shit, nice shot there. I think they, but getting that destroyer off the board should have sealed this deal. And especially looking at all the HP. We got way more HP than they do. They do have the Suzuya. If the Suzuya gets spotting and fires from safety, that could change the tide a little bit, but six minutes... Hopefully this guy stays on the cap. Don't be foolish, don't be foolish. Ah! Fuck. Now he's gonna, in his mind, he's gonna be like, alright, well, I just got reset, I can't break anyways, so I'm just gonna sail through it. That's a potential weakness. They still got five and a half minutes. They're going to be tied in caps. You can see the Suzuki is already getting his free damage. So there's a path to victory here. Now if Amagi goes down, this guy's way back here. He's going to have a hard time spotting for the Suzuya back here. And we did get the uh, cap save, so that's huge. Now we got three caps producing. They got one. That should be the end of the game. In fact, if I'm these guys, I don't even push over here. Eh, man, Bismarck's low enough to... Probably still push. But according to the textbook, you don't push right there. Just got the Odin. Yeah, the Odin's a lot of fun. I don't know, though. I, I'm pretty nervous when I got Siegfried shooting me. I'll be honest with you guys. And you can see why. Like, the one shot we hit was pretty nasty, but... Come on. What you don't want to do is 1v1v1, v, or 1v2v, 1v2, comma, 1v2, no comma, 1v2, these guys, which is close to what's happening here. Got my eyes and I was coming through to support. But right now, Suzuya, Bismarck, team up on this guy, sink him. Next up, good eyes now, same deal. That's how, that's the only way Red can come back in this, so. This guy, once, I'm assuming he's going, no, he's not even going full speed here, just, Understand your guys are pushing. You got to push with them in this situation. You don't want to give them that numerical advantage. But like I say, it's a long shot. Suzuki's back here. He's protected, but he needed the Bismarck to stay alive to spot. So now he's going to have to open water, dodge. We can get away with it. Might sink one of these guys, but between the score and the ship count, looks like a blue team dubs. Only LT ships to come this year. Mon Montana and Minotaur. What you talking about? Clover? Did 
You're talking about for the rest of the year? Yeah, they're kind of slow in the uptake on that. I suppose next year we'll probably get a good chunk of them. Green XP Legendary? God, God, I hope not. Even though the green XP is... Alright, so now they're doing a pretty good thing here. They're just kind of leaving. Taking the dub. Going home. Sinking this guy. Would feel good, but... So does that W. Yeah. Still to come? Yeah, I know. I got what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping for Des Moines. We definitely need some cruisers here. Another battleship would be good because it would take... You know, the the more battleships, the less you models, is the way I'm looking at it. Because those ships are kind of problematic. Alright, well, I think we're doing pretty well so far on our missions. We need Tier 2, Tier 7, Legendary Tier. Let's try a... Uh... Let's try the Legendary Tier. We'll do one destroyer, one cruiser, one battleship. How about we'll start off with Colbert. Wusta. And Grover. Capumatos, yeah. That is You know me, I don't I don't want them to tinker with the matchmaking, but That's the ultimate example of what we were talking about earlier. New players zooming up there, getting the high tier ship and just sitting in it. Yamatos, they usually just don't do much. <laughs> but then when you get shot by them, it sucks, of course. Alright, let's see how the poll is coming along here. Almost 200 peeps watching, 136 likes. Let's see if we can bust it up to 150. That'd be good. We got Groba, Wusta, Clavers in last place. That's surprising. Can't take them, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing you can do against the Amano. Which, it's alright if there's like one or two of them, but in the ecosystem, we got like almost everyone, I don't know almost everyone, but a huge chunk of the players, that's their first Bureau project. That's the one they've heard of. And then they've probably gotten shot by him before, and they're like, damn, that thing's nasty. David, what's going on? Ole Conan's. Eh, maybe we'll do it. No news on new Bureau ships. I think the two they mentioned were the ones that we're going to get. Montana and Minotaur. Got a legendary commander, Von Hippa. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, one fifth HE then. <laughs> Can do polls, yeah, we figured it out. Alright, looks like we got the Wusta up first. Oh. Thursday mornings usually. Yeah, they're almost always. Once in a blue moon something changes, but Expect the patch notes videos. I don't know. They haven't given us any info yet, but usually they give us the info and we get like a day or two to make the videos. Yeah, Conqueror really does. Conqueror doesn't really hold up that well getting shot at, but... Fun ship to play. <clears throat> Caitlin, I think we had you in a video the other day. I don't know if you noticed that. Got North Domination. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Why do we have three destroyers over there? What is this? 
Well, we're going to go behind the silent here and we'll see if these battleships want to spot. They're going to want me to spot for them. Oh, I got main man over here. I don't think the Conqueror one. Basically, I don't know. This is going to be a tough flank. We might have to just abandon this one. We'll see if we get... If they want to chill back here, eventually we'll spot the ships. Let's see what we can do here. What flag is that? Oh, that's that new one. All right, well, the forecast does call for golden showers. We'll see if they actually materialize. All right, so we're eight kilometers to the back of that thing. So if this thing starts to become captured, we'll know there's a destroyer. We might have a double destroyer division over here. Or not necessarily division, but a deployment. So you can see on the far west, there's none. We got two ships spotted, so we're pretty much guaranteed. So we're just going to make sure we're in a position to fire here. Pop the sonar. Hello, Gabna. Come on, big money. Definitely want him dead if we're going to use the radar. Should be a kill, hopefully. Come on! No! We missed! Son of a bitch! That was... Go ahead and rush him, especially with the Conqueror. You got the HE, hopefully. All I gotta do is dodge one torpedo salvo. You're home free. Yeah, these guys, basically, they're reacting to the Wusta, how people react to these light cruisers. They don't want to be near them. Definitely don't want to be hosed down by them. Yeah, we don't. Ah, oh, fuck, man. That sucks. <laughs> Lost our boy. Could be the end of us. Jesus. Yeah, well, I thought we were actually going to win C, but apparently not. So now we got to get over there. We got to get B for sure. Yeah, this guy wants us dead. Fuck. Whew. Alright. No need to die for no reason, man. God damn! Good play getting the Adachi. We'll give him credit there, no doubt. Still got two destroyers. I got two. I suppose they're all right. Uh, okay. 
and now we can I still think if we get B we got this game wrapped up so he's trying to smoke here we got the sonar ready to go or the radar Hopefully they can hit him and take him out. There we got him. There we go. Same thing. Beautiful. That was a hard battle over in C there. Our conch did what he got us to do, man. I mean, we we needed one of those battleships to move in. But the conch, like we were talking about loading into the game, it just doesn't have the armor scheme to really hold up to that. I don't know what hit him, but something. It was probably this Bismarck over here. Something whacked him. Kevin. <laughs> Should have blind fired. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was hoping you could just rush him. I mean, at that point, even trading the Conqueror for the Udachi, you can debate. But I still think it's a pretty good play. Oh, well, you did your job. Got the job done, that's all that matters. Don't fucking turn my ship for me, please. Why are you up my ass here? What is this? <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Keep the steel slow. Don't want... Don't want matches with six big Missouris. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, that's pretty damn slow, but... I don't mind them having long-term rewards. Maybe less than five years would be a good earn rate, but... I definitely get your sentiment. There we go. That's the Wooster. That was a fun match. Kevin kind of took one for the team there. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, that's a battleship. If you're on the destroyerless wing like that, you kind of have to say to yourself, can I spot? And if you can, you kind of have to do it, unfortunately. Because you can't send, you can't send the Wooster there to spot. I mean, as soon as he gets spotted, he's dead. Okay. Torps hit the Conqueror, was that what it was? I sp yeah, that makes sense. You had the gear and you had the Udachi. Now that you mention it, I do recall the Torps going over there. Well, nothing you can do about that. He was, like he was, Kevin was saying, he was just one hold the trigger away from taking him out here. Well, I suppose we can do another L tier. Let's see, we did the Wusta. Let's put on some... Options. Do Shima. Yamato. Alaska. Now yeah, the Wusta. That was a relatively low damage game for the Wusta, but I think we did a pretty good job. A couple key radars. Yeah, exactly. And you gotta, if you're gonna pop the radar, you gotta get yourself ready to go. You know, get the guns pointed at where you think the guy is. Make sure that you're reloaded. Like, if you got a slow reload, like the Alaska or whatever, you 
You gotta make sure you're ready to rock. Pulls are way cool, I agree. All right, 160 likes, not too bad. Neptune's beard moment. Club air. Like to watch people suffer. I like the Alaska. What do you consider as a new player when it comes to getting the Yamato as the first bureau ship? What you talking about? Do I think it's a good idea for him or... I mean, like we were saying earlier, pretty much all the new players go for the Yamato first. I don't think... What would I say a new player? I don't know. New players don't really need to worry about Legendary tier too much. I guess the Yamato is not a bad option. But... Uh... Sometimes the new players aren't the most effective in them, let's just put it that way. But it is what it is. You just kind of want to start working on these ships. I mean, how I would approach the Bureau if I was new now is, as you're a new player, you're kind of unlocking these commanders, you know, one per week. Speaking of which. And so that, that can inform which lines you want to grind first. Let's say the first commander you get is Von Mueller. Well, then maybe German cruisers would be a good place to start, you know. Let's update the old numbers here. Who did we get? Kincaid, right? Kincaid. I suppose I could just check the home screen for that now. Let's see. All right, so we'll put 5 and 20 on the chart there. Not that helpful, but... All right, so what do we got here? It looks like Alaska won the poll there. Here's the build we got. I just switched this. No, I didn't switch this. We got all AP. Let's see if we can get it to sing here. There's the armor. 32 mil front, right? So if we can get into kind of close quarter brawling situations, as long as we're not getting torped, it can be tough to dislodge. American cruiser's good. Yeah, they are outstanding. Yeah, how do you define new player? That's a good question. Okay, we got a Fletcher and a Shima. Two Yamatos and Alaska are the main guns we're worried about. Grover? Yamato. Oh, we got Demo. <laughs> so you guys are getting into the... These guys get in the member streams, they get good at uh, jumping in the games, and then we see them a bunch. <laughs> no Stylo yet that I've seen. New player. Yeah, I don't know how I would define a new player. Can't evaluate. I mean, I remember being new at this game and, like, looking at the map, trying to figure out where I should go. Like, these guys right here, this is just dog shit. <laughs> you got B. Did you win B yet? Why the fuck are you leaving the cap that you spawn on? I don't understand them. These are new players, hopefully. I just don't understand it at all. You see the cap you spawned by? Who controls it? If the answer is nobody, then it's your fucking job to go get it. I don't get this. Poor strategy. Alright, so we got two battleships sighted. 
We'll keep an eye on the base here with an eye to oh, Baltimore. So right now they can maybe damage me, but it's not going to be too bad. Keeping an eye on the ships in the center. We don't want shots coming over here like that. It's kind of challenging this Baltimore to become relevant. You, just, you can't shoot back here, man. I don't know. You're safe, yes. But your boys will be dead, and then I'm going to... Wreck your ass. That was decent damage. Upper hull, probably. Superstructure. Good job of the team all focusing on this guy. Initially, they were kind of split between Colorado and Bismarck. When we're doing these fights, just get the guns off, you know. Once this guy goes down, I'm not afraid of Colorado. I'm not afraid of Baltimore. We're going to go right into these guys. Just don't want to push the Bismarck with the secondaries. Take too much unnecessary damage. Yeah, beautiful. Keeping an eye on the crossfire from B. That's being conceded. For no fucking reason. Look at these guys. Like, what are we doing down here? <laughs> Baltimore! Hey! Bullseye. Common play that they're making, by the way. We're not criticizing these people, necessarily, for coming up with some new, innovative way to throw the game on this map. Very common. Once he's dead, we just straight into this guy. We'll just clear this flank out. We don't really need any help over here. Once we got that Bismarck down. The ship is on fire. Alright, hopefully that kills him, because we got an angle against this Colorado here. He might try and ram, we'll see. I don't want to ram him, necessarily. Taking out the guns, yes. Oh, a little... We need a little bit better angle in here. To stop this, but we can kill him now. Beautiful. All right, let's go get the caps that these guys are ignoring. This thing is just kind of a bully. I don't know. When the when legendary tier was brand new, this is the first one I got, and it was like legendary tier matches were one legendary per team, and then however many tier sevens they can get. A lot of times they were short fill games, obviously, but. In that situation, when everyone on the enemy team wants to kill you, I didn't like this ship at all. But I'm probably better at playing it in general. And now that it's not such an attractive target, it is pretty badass. I feel like this is a game where we're wrecking shit and we're just going to get clobbered on the scoreboard. This could be the end. Eesh. Maybe hit that citadel. Oh, nice shot. The Grover's doing fine, man. He's got three guys pulling all those ships into irrelevant places of the map. So I don't agree with this call. He's pinging that dude, the Grover, way down south. He's doing great. 
He's got the majority of the remaining ships tied up. He's red. Their wind condition was controlling these caps. And they're about to uh, no longer do so. Probably lost thanks to the beast bomb. They're making it far closer than they needed to be. Conceding this that early. Okay, it's we're halfway through the match. So how many points do you think that was? 1, 200, 250, whatever. I don't know exactly how many points they got out of it. But it's a lot of points that we're just spotting them. Saying, we're so damn good. Here's 100 points. See if you can beat us. That's bullshit. That's not a good strategy at all. But overall, I think we we got control. Once that Yamato's off the board. Because, again, this Grover right here, they're chasing him. This is poor, you know, low-level, low-understanding strategy. Kaba goes straight to C. Seal the deal. We can see if these guys are actually legendary or if they're just in legendary tier ships. Why is he not going to C? He's not a legend. <laughs> That's all there is to it. A <laughs> little bit hard on him. A little bit facetious, but this game is pretty fucking close. If we're going to count on the Amato not being able to kill an Amalfi, not being able to kill an Alaska, not being able to kill a Kaba, I don't want to rely on that. It's not an unreliable strategy. There goes our Grover. So once again, we're in the losing thing. This guy's saying good game like he's pouting. Go get the fucking cap. Win the game if you want to win the game. Really don't like that attitude. <laughs> Grover had a great crossfire. That was another good part of that, yeah. I think the Grover was doing fine. I think we're actually going to lose this now. Kaba... We'll see here. We got two destroyers. We haven't seen one of them. We'll see what the spotting situation is when we when this guy dies here. Because we could have a destroyer over here. If so, we're going to pop the radar. He's like pointing right at what he should be doing. He can't figure it out. Looks like the other destroyer is over there. Very frustrating. Hey, Scoop. Oh, shit. There he is. This might be a double strike here. This could be bad. So we're going to wait till we're on reload before we uh, hit the radar here. Yamato's dead now, so the main threat to us is gone. Alaska's dead. Nice. That game is way harder than it should have been. <sighs> but, typical legendary tier game where actually very few people are trying to win the game. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably the play of this game was the Grover pulling these ships down here. So that allowed us to get on B. The guy's finally on C now. Alright. Got the fire. He shouldn't be able to run now. Oop, put him out. So yeah, this thing, the guns aren't the best at killing the destroyers. So that's the one downside. In terms of the accuracy. Alright, so we just saw the one drop. There it goes again. What's that mean? He's going from gun mode now when the one's active to torpedo mode when it drops. 
Back in torpedoes. Or he could be scanning other targets as well. That's the other thing. And since we do have ships behind us, that's also possible. But whenever we're assuming he's using the torps, then we're going to be dodging. Enemy destroyer foundered. Oh, man. That was a workout. Just get B. Get C, guys. That game should have been over five minutes ago. Good scores, though. Damo, nice job. We got Wood. Good job in the Amalfi. Grover, rewarded for the play. He must have a hell of a game here. This guy he would have had, I don't know. I think he did end up getting the base, so. Pretty good games overall. I mean, I'm not criticizing that team too hard. It's just recognizing how do we win this game from this standpoint. Our main win condition was, you know, we got to stop. Well, we got to we gotta turn the uh, scoring situation around, basically. So. You do that, then your chance to win the game goes from low to high. What is this? Why do we have a... <laughs> single credit booster on there. Alright. Now there's nothing <laughs> left to shoot any caps. Yeah. A little bit backwards. That's what... The main point there is if you get those caps early and then they go unchallenged, that's a lot of points that you got to overcome, you know. It can be two, three hundred points throughout the game. If That's a big deficit, big hole to dig yourself into. But the caps are like, uh, you know, the time in the stock market. The longer you got the caps under control, the better they're going to be. All right, so let's do the tier two. Bust out the Oleg. Get some. <laughs> Shame I should just turn charge, yeah. I think it was on the Torp reload. There's two, there's a difference between like the destroyer running and hiding behind an island and not doing anything for like the last five minutes and kind of moving away from you to continuing to launch the torps on the reload that's still trying to do something so let's see what do we got i've got a rhine over there jeez if you're one of only two players trying to cap everyone else sides yeah that's the norm. Let's see here. We got a Izzy. We got an Orion. Our carrier launched the plane. That's always a good sign. this little bugger probably not G61 yeah that ships pretty damn good We've definitely played that and ranked a few times. Pound for pound, it's one of the best in tier 5 and arguably in the game. <clears throat> 
Let's see how we're doing here. I'm on fire. Get back. Get back. All right. Pushed him off. Let's go over here. See what's going on. Sheesh. Oh. See if that fire kills this guy or not. Couldn't be close. <laughs> Suicide torpor. game could go either way at this point. Jesus. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Well, that guy we already knew was going to die. Fuck. Is it hot in here? Is my team just melting? Like one nation, but keep switching it till it sticks. Yeah, I don't. I mean, in terms of becoming a better player, the more familiarity uh, that you have with all the nations, the better. You know, let's say you're playing, you're Mister uh, American Battleships or whatever. Well, if you know what the German cruiser that's in front of you wants to do to you, that helps you out. The easiest way to figure that out is by playing the ships. Oh, we got a fly boy over here. Get back. Get back. the fuck? Hello? Oh, for fuck's sake, kill him. Jesus. He's got like two health. Who is aiming? Jesus Christ, man. It's like we had Celiacs in the pilot seat that game. Oh, man. That was brutal. Yeah, you blinked and the whole team was dead. Alright, what do we got left? I know we got a tier 7. Let's see what we got at tier 7. Rather play St. Louis, man. Trying to get the premium supplies done. Okay, what would be a good... 
Hmm. Let's try. And we'll put Odin. Well, an Archikov. Udachi. The Apollo, I don't have currently. Looking forward to getting that one back. Apparently the world wants less Udachis, not more. <laughs> nope, there's a vote for the Udachi. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. Spend your afternoons, evenings with me. Some of you guys up late. Hopefully they're, maybe they're in bed by now. Who knows? Got 180 likes. Let's see if we can get it up to 200. We're going to be getting pretty close there. Achikov, I doubt it'll come back. It's pretty nasty. Like the pole thing? Yeah, I do too. Oh, Odin takes the lead there. Yeah, I'd agree, man. I mean, I I don't follow the PC landscape enough to know with what's really going on over there. I've watched a few of the videos that have been coming out lately. And, now, yeah, doesn't sound like a good relationship but our guys you know we got Tikana, we got robin um phil they've been around for quite a long time basically since the game came out i mean i've i've enjoyed working with our team And then, of course, Blip. He joined in, I don't know, probably six months to a year ago. He's been great. So, I mean, our guys, it is what it is. But something to keep an eye on. I mean, I, I can relate to their loot box, you know, criticism. I, I don't generally try and recommend buying loot boxes. If people want to get a few of them, cool, you know. It's their money, but in general, the more self-control you can have when it comes to those, the, the better, I'd say. All right, looks like the Odin roared ahead. He kind of for president. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's been great to work with. He's, you know, he's a former competitive PC player, so he probably understands the uh, player's criticism you gotta understand that like i i kind of view the uh community manager's roles kind of like customer service-esque jobs you know you got a situation where basically a lot of your job is just listening to people bitch non-stop which is pretty fucking annoying if you've ever done it and i worked in customer service for a little while and i've told you guys the story before but i just i'm not like the prototypical yes sir no sir type of a customer service. I'll just debate these fuckers that call you and be like, we didn't do anything, you know. <laughs> but, you know, from that aspect, you gotta, to do that job, you kind of have to be like, you know, thick skin, you know, not let stuff get to you. But at the end of the day, it's, it's people, the business decisions are made high up and then they trickle down. So it is what it is. But yeah, that the PC version sounds like it's kind of a shit show right now. Phil didn't treat you so well, really. When you think Sheena now may be in the store? I don't know. Like a lot of times these really limited special edition ones like Key, you got uh Lennon. They might pop back out later at some point, but I wouldn't expect it to be any time soon, to be honest with you. Yeah, what do we got? We got a Conqueror, we got a Wusta. 
We've got the one destroyer, so we kind of want to play around him if possible. What's up, Thomas? Saw this position yesterday. I got melted from there. I was in my little one square south of here. Might be getting spotted over here. I'd be surprised. It's much more likely that we're looking at over here. Eesh, dude. Maybe I could have pinged or something to let him know he was probably there. Yeah. That's not good if we lose our destroyer. It's not going too hot. Looks like a Shima's in the neighborhood. So yeah, advantage red. That's a pretty strong open for them. You got one destroyer, you take half the health off, and then open up the mid for your destroyer. Because their Shima should just be able to get on B right now. Should be a good play for them. God damn it. <laughs> Frustrating. Pop the plane. Hoping to kill the Baltimore. Oh boy. Back it up. Come on. Ooh. This guy wants to throw down. We'll throw down. Pop that Grover. Yeah. Let's pull him back in there. This will be interesting. He's got to remember this Wusta still here. focus over here <laughs> so these we got the torps but you gotta actually be pretty wide to get them off on this one This thing reloads pretty quick with this build. So we want him to turn to angle towards us, then the guys to the north of us should have shots. shit going on over here. What the fuck is that? Man, the whole team is shooting me. Knocking guns. We're aiming just right under these things. There are those little stems, the barbettes. 
you whack those, you take the guns out. Between the uh, secondary cycling his damage count and then that, we've really reduced his ability to fight us. Jesus. Let's see if we can hit this thing. I think he's going around the other side of the island, but... <sighs> can we win this game? I doubt it. Come on. Shit. I want the ball tomorrow. I mean, our destroyers are dead, so the radar cruiser's value goes down, of course, but still a pretty good ship. This is just going to come down to we're not even playing the caps. So we're going to have to speed this up, I think. Speed is of the essence here. These guys on the moon. Let's get back in Earth's orbit, guys. Make sure you can shoot something. Nice. Just need some guys on the caps here. We can win the side. Fuck. Never mind. Yeah, uh, we shouldn't have any crossfire threats. These guys back here, I, this is becoming a problem. This would have been a pretty easy game to win if we would have gotten B. Just kind of wearing them down. We're shoving them off. We want these guys to play the fucking caps back here. These guys are really not helping us. Unfortunately. But right now, we should be able to outtrade this guy. You just shot. We'll go for the coup de gras. Fuck. Don't shoot me back. Right. So we're actually not too far down. But well, we only got four minutes left to fix this problem. It's going to be very, very hard to get on these caps in that time. So the question is, does Red kill themselves and throw the game, or do we lose the game? 
We can't win on score otherwise. These guys are just too far back. Too much of the game. Hot girls and boys video chat. Wow. You know how easy it is to find that shit? It takes like three seconds. But, if they kill the Shima here, we might have a shot. Come on, big money. Fuck, we can't even aim. That was a must sink shot right there. Man, think of if that guy got B early. 150 points, 200 points, whatever it is. Alright, I just don't think we got off time for this, unfortunately. Capturing C before the 7 or 8 minute mark would have won the game. Capturing B a long time ago would have won the game. Sitting in the back watching life go by through the binoculars. Not gonna win the game. Oh well! Marble Flint, were you in there? That's all good. Just a game. We take plenty of losses every day. No big deal. Yeah, here, once we flip this, we're going to need about four or five minutes to bring the score back. So Wooster's doing a good job. He's just running. He understands how to win the game. He is a legend. Oof. And he gets the reset off. That's even worse. Oh, well. Good try. Kraken, now we can't catch him. No, it's possible. Map awareness very difficult, yeah. I mean, there's multiple levels of map awareness. Like, if I'm in this battleship, I'm scanning the map over there looking for broadside ships. You know, that's a good thing to be looking for. Game awareness, I would maybe call that branch of the map awareness. Looking at the cap situation. Oh, they got A. They've had A the entire game. We don't have any caps. How many points is that? That's why we're down... That's why we're up three ships or whatever, two ships, and we lose on score. Because we said, okay, we don't really try and win the game. You guys try and win the game. See if you can beat us. And, of course, if you're going to go against guys that are trying to beat you, they're going to win the game, usually. If you're not. That's all right. Looks like it did pretty good here, Marble. Got some kills under the belt. It was just too bad. I mean, the Shima... Opened up, he got blasted by the Wooster, half the HP gone. I mean, that's just, it's a bad start. It happens to me, you guys have seen me do it. Um, but if you lose half your health, you're the only destroyer on the team right off the bat while you're in trouble. How can you get these caps? How can you kill those destroyers? Tough to do, but that was a pretty good Odin game. We're using the, our ship as just kind of a big sumo wrestler bouncing into the guy, you know. 
bouncing them off the back of the map there. Georgia, what you gonna do? You try and go broadside, we'll gun you down. He's got a backup. We just keep pushing into him, get some secondary hits on him, get those turrets knocked out. Nothing he can fucking do against that thing. And those torp angles are harder to get in play than like a turpits or can I now Sharnar, so there's even steeper. It wasn't a bad match. I just red played better. <laughs> All right. Oops. All right. What do we do here? What do you guys want to see? We don't have to stick with tier sevens, legendary tiers. Odin the Bully. As BB, your influence is limited, yeah. In terms of controlling the match, I'd say BB is probably the least in control. Cruiser's next, Destroyer's next. Carriers, you'd have to throw them in there somewhere. Don't have, not good enough carrier player to know exactly where those hit. Seems too heavy to put in the backpack. It's just, you can't have all these battleships concentrated in a small area like that way back. Okay, you have no power projection whatsoever. Need them spread out horizontally, and you need them close enough to actually be shooting on reload pretty much every time. Countdowns, uh, doesn't look like we'll probably get to countdowns today. West Virginia. The gas can. <laughs> Leningrad. Yeah, let's do a poll here. I don't have the Apollo, man. If I did, I would. How about Leningrad? West Virginia. And Fabuki. I could throw a Fabuki on there. Clump in. I don't know. I don't know why people clump. They feel safer. A lot of people that play this game are just constantly wetting their pants in terror, you know? <laughs> Sounds pathetic. Kind of is, but... I believe it's the truth. That's true, Randy. Yeah, I've... As a destroyer player, I've been shut down by good carrier players. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they might have the capacity for the most influence. A lot of carriers don't really do that much. They just try and torp battleships the whole game. Or drop battleships. Let's see here. We got Leningrad. A lot of Fabuki votes. Edinburgh Smoker Radar, that's a good one. Yeah, it looks like the Leningrad's running away. Scared to mess up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hard on them, but <laughs> at the end of the day, who knows what they're doing. A lot of it is, until you get, until you're like out there trying to learn, you're probably not going to you know, the game's hard to learn just by playing it, I think is the way to put it. Most players, that's the route they go, so. Smoke. Got 
Got the bull tav in a crate. How about taking her out? Sure, bugs. Not a problem. Just trying to remind me here. I think, you know, <laughs> reliable my memory is when it comes to that stuff, but I'll definitely try and grab it for him. Appreciate that. The pulled tava. That's not one you see too often. Alright, New Orleans, Nagato. Man, I got a triple American cruiser division. Smoke radar depends on the map, but you don't know which map going into the match. So what you load in on. Might have the cruiser division over here. Well, we definitely do. I don't know if the whole division's over here, though. Oh, shit. We're in his radar range. So we're going to back up here. We want this island between us and all these support ships. Now he's taking himself out of the range, so that's good. Indianapolis, if you look at this lineup, this should be probably the highest value target on their team. We got a three destroyer match, so we got plenty of destroyers that can be affected by the thing. So I think this destroyer is coming our way. I don't know what's going on back here, but I don't have any inclination to support it, so we're just going to go try and hunt this destroyer down. Yeah, let's get these torps down, just in case. Leningrad, you actually have usable torps. Eight, kilo yeah, eight, eight kilometers on those puppies. All right, looks like we're about to throw down here. A biscuit. Looks like he's not playing the game. We definitely want to get him out of here because he is a spotter. And if he picks up his controller, he's a destroyer, of course. Normally you wouldn't want to put too much priority on shooting unmanned ships. But he can just spot the whole game just sitting here. Alright. So we got A, we got B. We got two destroyers on C. Yeah, we're going to lose A. It's going to be impossible to ping this base, but it would be nice to get one of those guys on the base. <sighs> oh, yeah. Let's see what he's doing here. So Nagato's going down, we knew that, that other cruiser's going to die, then they'll flip A. So that's why we need C. We're definitely going to go over there, try and kill the destroyers, get the base, and then we'll defend B. This is how to win this game, kill these destroyers. So we'll ping the living piss out of them. The game will say, you ping too much. I don't care. We can't ping it enough. Lennon made a lot of money. Lennon is just a badass son of a bitch ship. Oops. 
So actually we're gonna lose B and A. This is gonna be a really tough game to win. Might have to deal with this Iowa here. Fuck. Yes, you might be looking at the scoreboard thinking it's a win. I think this is pretty much a guaranteed loss. They should win this. All they have to do is execute. I'll just launch these here and then we'll check out your dono. Appreciate that, Mavi. Fuck. All right, this is gonna be a tough one. Mavi coming in out. I'm not proud of how much money I spent on this game since I've gotten back into it over recent months. You probably deserve a percentage of that. Love the info, strategy, tips for your content. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mavi. Appreciate it very much. At the end of the day, you know, if you got the money, you can afford it, and you're having fun, then there's no harm, no fall, right? In my mind, at least. Ugh, needed one more torp. This is why when you got the advantage, you gotta press it. We've had like a 4 5v3 up there for the whole game. And they've had a massive overload on A. That's partially our fault because we've left A. But we did that willingly, knowing our team wasn't gonna win that fight anyways, so... Gonna play keep away, try and get his torp. He's gonna have us permanently spotted. We're gonna actually need to keep a line of sight to keep him spotted, but. I wanna ping that destroyer behind me, but we can't take our eyes off the ball at the moment. Let's see what sort of adjustments he makes. Kill this fucking thing. What's going on back here? Yeah, we'll try and get some torps on the hood intermittently, but... Well, I don't know why they're sitting back there. He's in Indianapolis. Fuck. They never got that thing. <laughs> so, how do we win this game? Defend B. But they've not cleared C out, which is a big problem. Because we for sure have to hold on to the caps to win this game. Uh-oh. This game is way too hard to win. We're up big on the score, that's the one advantage, but we're going to have a real hard time holding this. God damn Indianapolis. It's nice if you kill the radar cruisers early, then your DD doesn't... Get fucked up like this. destroyer down. I, this battleship needs to get the fuck over here. At this point in time, this biscuit needs to go fight this Benham. That's an easy fight for the biscuit. I don't know why you're running in fear from the fucking Benham. Or let me do it. But we need to defend B 
That is the only way we're going to win this game. I, you can say maybe they don't have enough time to win on the score. That's possible. Math's a little bit too complicated for me at the moment, but... Alright, let's try and gun this fucker down. He's not going to be able to spot us. We're blocked from these guys. As soon as he angles, we're going to have a hard time with him. Kill him. We're just going to have to take this damage. There's nothing we can do. Alright. Tell me you're killing this thing. Yeah, we got the New Orleans upper butt here. Probably pretty damn close. Might be able to kill us. It's going to be tough because I want to shoot once and then disengage by using this island. But if he comes around here, then we're going to be permanently spotted. Yeah, we got our resets. Oh shit, here he comes. Oh, he's pulling off. Beautiful. This is a wild game, man. <laughs> are you doing? So even with the, let's just sail off. Even if they sink both those ships and they flip B, then we got the game. This is too hard to risk. This guy's going to die. I don't put any stock in this thing. Well, we got a minute 42. Let's just secure the win here. That was a lot of heavy lifting that game. Spambler. <laughs> All right, what did... Why is this webcam's bullshit back on here? Fucking robots. Webcams. What did Bugs request? The Poltava. What controller? I think it's preset 3. That's how you get the gun lock going. Needs a mod. Yeah, someday we'll have to break down and get a mod, probably. Throw up on a stripper. What's up, Ben? <laughs> That's pretty good. Must win harder, exactly. Just like what we're about to do. There we 
go. It's about as good as I can do. Did you give her the tip? Yeah. Port of webcams for harassment. Alrighty. Yeah, just shy of 3K. That's not too bad. Yeah, the Leningrad is one you don't see a whole lot. For whatever reason. Where are we at? Smoke or radar? You guys prefer the radar, huh? I usually run the smoke. Alright, I'm going to run to El Baño for just two seconds. Bear with me. All right. Appreciate the great turnout today, guys. We are chasing that 20k subscribers. I know we got a lot of new faces here. If you do want to consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it. All right. Yeah, Leningrad, I don't know why you don't see it more often. Poltava. I tested it out. You know, I'm a big Kedrov guy on the Russian battleships. Tested it out, tested it out, tested it out. Can't hit anything. Finally, we'll put Lev Galler on there. And it's a sniper. So, that's part of the Poltava. The other part, armor, armor, armor. Difficult. Don't want to get shot at. Yeah, we're doing pretty good overall. We lost a couple today, but... So far, so good. So, we'll see. Not the easiest ship to play, but... Beavis... <laughs> Which BB Lion would you guys recommend to a French fan? I mean, the French battleships are good. That was a damn good game. <laughs> uh, Mavi, let's see. I don't really not like any of them. Say for me personally, the Soviet battleships and the French. I don't know. I'm trying to pick one branch per nation. I guess you probably go battleships, but the destroyers, the cruisers are good. Soviet cruisers good. Boy, Nichonitsa. It's gonna be a tough. Spot for the ship to play. I don't know what our approach should be here. him in front of me because he can tank some shots I can't Sashi Akatsuki terrible Where are they at? Yeah, 
Yeah, support your destroyer. Welcome to the fucking game. That's like the most basic concept. There's a better call. Shoot the destroyer. Nice shot. Come on, let's put him down. Fuck. Didn't think the Asashi was going to survive, but it would have been nice. Well, we got the Terrible out of there, though. Terrible's no joke. A, what is on A? Uh oh. We got a kid in the vicinity yeah, that... Asashio should be in serious trouble. I'm thinking about getting on B. The problem is if the guy's on A, he peeks out over here, catches me. We got the two battleships anchoring. We've seen this position played a lot lately. These guys are just basically parked right there. So I don't know if this will work. Probably not. Might be a bad play. See, yeah, we got this Odin here. Odin rushing these guys would be a good play, but again, we got the destroyer there. He'd probably just torp through the gap. Backing up, though, so you'd guarantee that you can't help me. That I don't prefer that. I don't think that's the correct play. Let's at least try and get a shot off. Fuck, we can't even... What is our caliber on this thing? Most ships can punch the Nelson in the nose and fuck him up, but apparently not on this guy. Probably dead here, we'll see. Jonathan, thanks for subbing. What? So we can, alright, there we can. I was going to say, you're not s spotting the Nelson in the smoke. Dude. You got fucking Torps on that thing, right? So from his standpoint, he wants to engage while I'm still alive, because he's going to wait for me to die, then he's going to get in there and fight. That's the wrong order. Come on. Put the fucking me pedal to the metal, dude. Sink Nelson. Yeah, I can't even ding his turrets with this thing. Back for more. He's going to trade the Akatsuki for the Poltava. I don't know about that trade. trade I would have made personally, but whatever. Alright, now you got a 1v3, 1v4. Let's see what you got, Chief. Now you pull out. I think we got that one wrapped up. We're on their home cap D. The destroyer's dead. We got two destroyers. Now they're on the wings, but we have to assume they'll come back to relevance, hopefully. Poon Pounder 420-0.
Yeah, so these guys, if they want to win the game, they just go straight to B, then into A. There's nothing for them to do. Asashio, maybe you want to launch some torps while you're doing it, fine. But red still has a pretty decent shot at this game. If we can get D, again, that would be helpful for these uh, destroyers to go for. Then they're going to... Oh, we got Devo again over here. <laughs> Holding it down the Shine Horse. This is a good play. He's going to die doing it, but he is stopping their accrual here. So we're running up the score a little bit. Well, actually, it's still... We're holding it even. Because they got A. Asashio, not going to go for the cap, right? Really, this is why we make fun of Japanese destroyers constantly. Or the players that play them. They don't try and win the game. All you got to do is get on D here. That's a very strong play. This guy's asking for support. I really don't know what the fuck's going on in his brain. Do not understand it. I mean, he's asking this guy to move up. That's a great call, yes. I'd agree with that. N Nelson. Let's see what he's shooting at. So what you don't want them to do, they're going to move up here. They're going to get B. And if this, what is this, a radar cruiser? Indianapolis comes over here, radars this fucking uh, Sashio, kills them. I'd say Red probably wins that game pretty easily. These guys are going to move south. They're not going to have shots because these islands are going to be blocking them the whole time. Uh, and Odin's going down. So this looks probably like a red win to me. And it's... You can probably look at these destroyers saying, thanks for the L. Why is the kid getting shot right here? I guess the radar's going off. Yeah, so that's, that's got loss all over it. I don't know if you want to watch this play out, but... Bugsy out of here. Thanks, bud. We'll see ya. Shout out to your boy, Putin Bunner. <laughs> so we're we're more or less committing to a we have to kill everything on their team strategy. Well, we got D right now, so we got the two to one. That's an advantage. Red, a little slow on getting on B. I mean, they should have all these ships on here right now. Capture that as quick as possible. Then hold them off. Because blue is all isolated over here. They can't get out of this side of the map very easily. But now that we got the lead locked in, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Yep, now they're back in the lead. So actually, I, I'd say Red's probably going to win this game, unfortunately. Why are we doing what we're doing here? We should always be asking ourselves, why are we doing this shit? Alright, gunning a Sharn Horse down, probably the least valuable thing. He's not even pointed towards the caps. He's the furthest one away from the caps. Strategically irrelevant. Here's a ship that's actually going to matter. Now this is kind of a bad play here because he's moving. Like we were saying, these blue ships can't really move out of here very easily at this point in time. These guys are trying to move in here. If they're worth their salt, they'll focus them. Or the Asashio's gonna die for... What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Alright. We're seeing some less experienced destroyer player, I think, which is... Nothing we can do about that. Man. Bad call on these guys not getting B. I think this Sharn Horse to Indianapolis is going to wipe the whole team out. Like, as the American destroyers, you can use the smoke, you know, try and gun, but... I think focusing more on the caps, we would have had a much easier time to win this one. Oh boy. What? The fuck was that? Did you see that shit? These two for sure went under like a main part of the ship. What are these deep water torps? I'm calling bullshit on that one. 
baby's trying to get in the next match manually. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, he's he's doing the kiting play that we praised in uh, Fault Line earlier, but then he, in that play, he drew three ships up here. Here he's just, you know, he's tying up this Georgia, which isn't bad. He's He's been close to death for quite a while. But let's say he theoretically wins this fight. Now he's out of the game. He's too far away. So yeah, I think this is one of those games where you guys might say, why the fuck would you think you're going to lose this one? They're kicking our ass, this game. It's not even fucking close. This, the game on the scoreboard looks a lot closer than what it actually was. Should have been a blue win. I'd agree with you there, but it's not even close. No chance to win this whatsoever. Here, this Iowa's counting on killing him. That's going to take a long time. And especially, you know, you're getting crossfired. It's definitely going to take a long time. Yeah, it was just a blue or red, actually, just outplayed us there. It's too bad. I guess we could see the scoreboard since this game will be over in two seconds. Type 14 torps, yeah. <laughs> Serious D thing. That was pretty bad. I've never seen that. Oh, well. Yeah, pretty even contributions over here. All right, well, that's the Poltava. God's sakes. Give me one sec here. There. What are we in the mood for now? What do we got left for premium supplies? We got tier two, tier seven, legendary tier. Yeah, 
You guys all want the hipper. It's not a premium. <laughs> Best thing to do when your team abandons you at the spawn. I mean, usually you want to, if you can, you got to try and slow down the push into there, right? Because what you don't want to have happen into the game is for you to, your whole flank to just turn around and leave and then the enemy to move into your position that you currently occupy. Once they do that, they'll have crossfires into your team for the rest of the match. You'll, you're basically surrounded by a 90 degree angle. You're fucked. So you got to kind of go into the, with the mentality, I'm probably going to lose over here, but how can I slow them down? If I'm in a destroyer, maybe try and uh, throw some zone torps at them, see if you can hit them, deter them. A lot of people don't want to push into destroyers. Maybe catch their destroyer. If you can somehow kill their destroyer, that's a good trade. Um, cruisers, hopefully you can get some spotting, maybe lob some shots. Battleships, kind of, you know, we're turning around, we're moving away from these guys, but slowly. You know, trying to deal some damage. Tie them up, slow them down. You got to let your strong side uh, hopefully win, you know. But some of those games you just can't win. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's see here. You guys want the prins? Every time I take the prins out on stream, I get wrecked in like two seconds. So I'm always a little, a little nervous. Okay, let's speed this up here by doing that. Okay. Twenty seven is not bad. Get killed, try to hold the flank off. Now, yeah, sometimes that's just what you got to do, you know. Like, even those overloads will occur naturally. Like, let's say you're on the north west spawn on fault line, for instance. You should expect you're probably going to be outnumbered within the next three, four minutes, but you got to just kind of slow them down. So if it takes the enemy 10 minutes to deal with their 6 versus 3, and it takes your team 5 minutes to deal with their 6 versus 3, then you should win that game. Now there's still plenty of ways your team will potentially throw it, no doubt. Try and get in our little spot again, even though we got wrecked yesterday doing this one. <coughs> Why are we backing up? This game's about gaining map control, not seeding it. Prince always attracts a 16 inch cell, yeah. I don't think we're even going to be able to get into our spot here. Luckily, their their Yamato's backing up as well. Seems to be a common issue. See if we get away with that. Sometimes you just gotta live dangerously. Sometimes you just got to do it. All right, we got this guy is the biggest problem for this position right here. So we're kind of covering B, we're kind of covering C. What the fuck is that? Chop I have. Alright. Let's 
Not bad. We're in a pretty good spot here. Let's see if we can do anything with it. This this bomber right here would be glorious if you looked at the map and saw, oh shit, there's something on B. Let's see if we can spot it. But uh, he's torping battleships. Of course. It's too bad, because they're going to get a free cap. All you got to do is spot right there. That's turns you into a good carrier player. No attempt whatsoever. Yeah, torping, dropping battleships, it's the same ship that the bad, uh, or the inexperienced destroyer players would do. It's the same thing with the carriers, you know, too much focus on it. This guy's in a fairly strong position, I'll give you that. It's, he's fairly uh, far forward, so there is some strategic value, but we could have, they got one DD, we know where the fuck he is. He's on B, right? Or he was. Let's see if I can get him, but I doubt it. Got the Yamato. Yeah, we can't get into B. We need the carrier to spot this guy. It's just the odds of him figuring that out are low. Now he's on A. Let's see. They're actually leaving C. We could probably grab C. This, this game's going to be really tough. We got to... Destroyer way on the west side of the map who is not attempting to capture bases. Their destroyer is capturing bases. That's a huge advantage to the enemy team. So, to counteract that, we're going to try and get on C. Uh, this game looks like a loss, too. That's... We had a good run earlier, but we're not. We're winning. Or we're running into a lot of unwinnable games at this point, unfortunately. That just happens to be who we got on our team, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Point of frickin' mod. Who wants the job? I just don't like, uh... You know, handing out homework and shit. Making people feel like they gotta be here. So we're probably gonna die. This match is already fucking over. I don't, if you can't read the game board very well, you might not notice it. But this is, this is already a loss, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. Yeah, it was better. Jesus, what the fuck was that? Didn't think you could clear that. Damn, we lost both of our... We lost three or four Torp launchers. That's not good. I 
game's not completely over yet, but it's pretty damn close. Basically, what, if, if we can get them to go through here, maybe, and then we can sneak on B, maybe we'd have a shot, but... One destroyer match. Theirs gets two caps. Ours gets zero. That's the fucking game. That's all you need to know about it. And ours doesn't go for the caps. It goes for sitting on the side of the map trying to torp shit. You've lost the game the moment you load it in. Most likely. Unfortunate, but there's nothing you can do. Make the bottom mod. I got the, uh, <laughs> yeah, he could. He would, uh, have to throw himself out. What's up, comic? One of these days I'll put few mods on. I give up too quickly. No, I, I understand what you're saying. Sometimes we do win the games where I'm saying it's fucking over. That's why you still want to keep trying, but... How you play this game, it should be similar to baseball, where we're playing percentages. And the percentage of times you're going to win this game are very, very low. Almost never. Oops. Never impossible, but extremely unlikely. Come on. Damn. I want to be on B, trust me, but... Fuck. Oh, well, we tried. Shoot! buff made the prince less compelling. What was the hipper buff? For me, they're pretty similar ships. I don't know. I always put the reload boost on here just to shake it up a little bit, but... Nice shot. Boom. Yeah, I got three minutes to sink four ships. Now the problem is there's one of them's a carrier. It's gonna be really tough to even find his ass. Now, this match was fairly close, but in the end, in terms of ships, you know, surface ships sailing around, fairly close. In terms of score, not even fucking remotely close, as you can tell. Well, how many times a carrier spot the DD? 
I don't know. That was a key play early. Remember when that guy had the chance to spot the Kagero? We could have, number one, saved B, and number two, dinged him up. The more dinged up those destroyers get early, the uh, more difficult it is for them. Let's try a carrier. Which carrier I want to see? Let's put a vote. That was just a little bit of awareness, and he would have spotted that. I think that could have actually won the game had he made that play. Need to buff the Prince. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good ship. If you can get in uh, that game, unfortunately, we had to... I don't know. That wasn't a horrible game for it. But if you can get into these flank positions where they're not expecting them, that's when that thing can really tear it up. Looks like you guys are digging the Parsifal. What's the bot comments? I think we uh, got rid of them all. This webcam is just a persistent robot. All right, so Parsifal, it is. Now to the three right here, I'd say this is the least effective at dealing with the destroyers, but you can still spot them. St. Patty's Day, Chicago, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, I'd agree with that, Meta. But it's unfortunate that the main battery reload is on the sonar slot, because the sonar is actually probably better for that ship. The German cruisers, they're close to being radar cruiser strength, you know, when it comes to dealing with these destroyers. All right, so we got Kleber gearing. Put it there to start with. Let's see what happens. The torps on this thing just suck. I gotta work on my carrier builds and give them a little bit more thought, I think. First move is to always locate the DDs. Yeah, it's that's, that's a good, strong play, man. Like I say, I've had a couple games where I'm in the destroyer and the carrier decides he wants to kill me and there's nothing he can do if they execute it well and their team actually shoots destroyers. Let's see if we can spot the destroyer while we're over here. These torps don't do shit. Let's launch these. Oh, fuck. Kind of a randomized torp there, but you never know. Alright. So we have both destroyers on that wing. Or kind of in the middle, I guess. So, I think if we strike this Odin, because we have the ability to clear this flank up pretty early, that would give our team basically the ability to surround these guys. You can see they're clumped up in the base for some reason. Uh, so if we give our team the ability to flank around these guys, this game could wrap up pretty quickly. Uh, 
Nice dodge there. There's a destroyer. Don't seem to want to shoot him, unfortunately. It's a shame I get it, but you know, when this clever nukes the Amagi, what's gonna stop him from coming for you, you know? This is not going well. Not going well at all. Ah, we're already getting shot. Fuck. This game's over. I think I've had enough of this game for one day. Doesn't seem like we really have much of a shot. I don't know. They're surrounding these guys over here. This is looking pretty good. Uh, this guy might as well just leave. Come back. Try and guard the base a little bit. You can't do anything against these guys. We're not getting any attack on these destroyers, though, that's for sure. Hearing decides he wants to gun this guy down, okay. Decent. So if the whatever that destroyer is on the other side of the map, he's got to go into that slow him down mode that we we're talking about. The problem is he's got the Clobert, which is going to be able to fuck him up. Yeah, I got a permanent flood on that guy. What do you guys think? Who's going to win this one? What's up, Zarkoon? It's pretty unlikely we could pull it off, but both teams kind of sitting back. We got a full health gearing. I think what we're gonna do is try and get the champagne because we gotta we gotta free up our guys' attention. We talked about this the other day in a video. We need them to basically be focusing on this thing right here. This is the most important thing in the game. But they won't see him as long as this thing's over here. You've been spotted because you got a fucking plane hovering over you. Thought the DDs do the damage. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just, uh, you saw like this game. There's gonna be games where they just straight up don't shoot at the guys that you're spotting. So there's nothing you can really do there. Fuck. Got 
The Shima traded for the gearing. So you can see their guys on our base right now. We're in pretty big trouble here. Oh fuck, we're already spotted. I wasn't paying good enough attention, but too late. I don't think. I don't think we can possibly stop them. We'll see, though. Let's give it a whirl. Fuck! Unable or unwilling to shoot the fucking thing, so it just really doesn't matter what you do in this game half the time. I don't know what... I, let's just fly over here just so I can see what this guy's looking at. Because that's the most interesting part of this to me. What are you doing? I'm gonna try and bomb him. I just want to look at his guns. He is fighting this fucking champagne. I knew it. That's why we were trying to kill that thing a while ago. Oh well. What can you do? Squad, squad's change made carries harder to play. Yeah, I'd say so. Which I'd say is a good thing. You know, I'm fine if they want to do 70,000 damage or whatever. Just, we were seeing photos of like two, 300k damage type production come out of these things. That's just stupid. Let's see if it's 1v9 until your team proves otherwise, yeah. Yeah, well, we get one more drop. Even if we hit him, which is tough to do, you only get like a thousand damage. Hurry up and sink this guy so we can move on with our lives. Difference between the Eastern and Southern Dragon? I don't think so. I'm pretty 99% sure they're the same. <laughs> Champagne Yamato is even considered much of a fight. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said earlier, usually the first ship the new players are going to go for Yamato. It usually shows. I mean, you don't. Oh, yeah, it kind of spiraled out of control earlier, or later, unfortunately. We had a pretty good run going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, eight, eight and four. Oh, wait, no. Eight and five. Not horrible, but could have done without these three games. I don't feel like anyone's trying to play. And once you start to run into that, it just turn the fucking game off. If nobody wants to win the game... They can fuck around on their own. I don't need to be here to supervise that shit from them. Last drop tonight, yeah. I was hoping to get
Hoping to finish them off, but alas. Donations today, Legendary, V19, Carlos, Bugsby, and Navi. Appreciate the donos, guys. And new member, Jesse. Appreciate, appreciate joining the members. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's down to 62. I'm right on the border. Like yesterday, I walked into it with the 63, and then we lost, like, I got my ass kicked yesterday on the member stream. So we plummeted. Might have jumped up above 63 at one point today, but the losing streak at the end guaranteed that wasn't the case. But yeah, I'm, I'm right on the border, so I don't know what that is. 62.5001 or 62.49, I think is roughly my win rate, but... We're not going to get those wins with people not trying to win the game, so. Has the guns, no hit points, yeah. Anyways, appreciate everyone hanging out. We had a great turnout today. 237 likes, that's great. Best are about 72%. I mean, there's there's a difference between uh, solo win rate and division win rate. It's usually about 10 points, give or take. But yeah, someday they said they're working on the stats, so we'll get a more robust uh, picture of the performances coming forward at some point in time. I just want the websites to be able to pick it up and get the win, win 8 stats on there, and then we can really see... Exactly who's doing the best, who's playing a lot of divisions, etc. All righty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me. I think uh, next week we've got a Bismarck Gneisenau videos, pair of videos. I know those are the ones I've shot so far. We might have some other footage lying around. Uh, of course, we'll get the upcoming patch notes. Look for that roughly Thursday, give or take. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably streaming next weekend. I don't recall. Don't recall. I'll keep you guys posted, though. Won't get too caught up in stats. Yeah, exactly. Live stream schedule. I don't have a schedule. I, usually I'll be starting at about 1030 Central Time. So about uh, three hours ago. Three hours, 15 minutes ago. That's all. Usually when I start, we started a little bit earlier today, about an hour or three and a half hours ago. But as for what day, it just depends on pretty much whenever I'm not working my regular job, I'll stream at that point in time. So, alrighty guys, have a good one. Peace.